Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Georgia 4 Low. Been a minute. It's been a little while. So we're here. We're going to do just a small update uh, on our Jeep, and I want to talk to you about bumpers. So if you're in the market for some new JK bumpers or even JL, JL bumpers, let me show you what I've been running or what we've been running since she allowed me to buy them, I guess. She approved <laughs> Whatever. The, the money to spend on them. So let me show you the bumpers that we're running. Um, we love them. And I want to show them to you, give you some ideas for new bumpers that you might be looking at for your Jeep. And uh, let's dive into these. Okay, so here's the front bumper. Uh, we did a video on this, uh, on the install. I haven't shown you the rear bumper, but we're fixing to. But just a little recap on the front bumper. Probably one of the nicest, sexiest uh, front bumpers I've seen on the market. There's some that are similar. It's got a nice uh, bull bar kind of loop across the front. And uh, it's not a frame chop type bumper, but um, you know, those sit really snug. But for a bumper that's mounted to the frame, it does sit pretty tight to the uh, front of the Jeep. You kind of see that maybe in the, the video. Sits really snug with the frame. So it gives you a little more clearance, uh, a little more approach, but definitely got the big meaty hooks on the front, you can throw a strap over the top of that. Got your place for your D-rings. But overall, that is one sexy bumper for a front of a Jeep if you're looking for one. So let's take a look at the, what we put in the rear. We actually put the same bumper in the rear, just the uh, Cab Fab Rampage rear bumper. It's got the same styling as the front. So here's the rear bumper. As you can see, it's got the same style lines as the front. A lot of people don't run matching front and rear bumpers on a Jeep, and that's okay, but I prefer to have them. Uh, one thing you'll notice that the what I really like about the Rampage bumper is all the style lines. Look at that. Really pretty. Also notice how that bumper it matches, fits really nice with the body line there on the end. Again, you got the nice big uh, recovery hooks or recovery points. Nice little cab fab uh, badging that's bolted in the back side of the bumper. Again, it's not a frame chop, but to be a bumper that's bolted straight to the frame, it, it's pretty tight and snug, and again, gives you a little more clearance. Under here, it's super snug to the uh, frame rails. Again, it's about as gonna about as high as you're going to get for ground clearance um, for a bumper. And what's really nice is in here, inside the frame rail, the little uh, bracket that goes in there is actually quarter inch steel. And it's a super snug fit to the uh, frame. So you have to kind of tap that in. So when you put the bumper on, everything fits tight and snug. There's no force in anything uh, when you're installing it. Uh, it just makes everything tighter and stronger. You can see how the bumper kind of follows along the bottom of the frame here. I get that to focus a little better. It doesn't want to. But anyways, it fits really great. So that's it. If you got any questions on the Cab Fab bumpers, hit us up. I'm glad to answer all your questions if you have about any of the fit. Uh, finish. They are 100% American made, designed, tested right here in uh, Georgia. And uh, you couldn't ask for a better product. And uh, let us know if you got any questions. But, anyways, thanks for watching and subscribe. <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> You're just standing there. Listen, look, I'm windblown. We've been out top drop, you know, topless today. It's a nice day. And it's just been a minute, so I've lost my flair. You lost your uh, screen presence. I have. Sorry. She'll get it back, though. I worry. will. Thank y'all for watching.